If you're an avid YouTube watcher about the RV community, you've noticed a trend lately, and that is famous YouTubers are getting off the road and they're buying land. What in the heck is going on? Many reasons are given by those famous RV YouTubers, such as fuel prices, campgrounds are overrun with people, they're causing Walmarts to say no, even some Cracker Barrels to say no to overnight stays, and you're having to book weeks and months out to, to secure a campsite. And for many, it's really just being in a constant state of motion if you're a full-time RVer. They wanted to go to a home base. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to a campground, a KOA, that's doing things differently. They're actually selling deeded RV lots. It's pretty interesting. Let me introduce you to Trevor. He's gonna walk us around and show us why this is kind of a cool situation and something that might interest you. All right, so I promised you the introduction to Trevor. Here he is. We're standing in the KOA store, which a lot of KOAs have, which is pretty cool, because you never know when you might run out of hamburger buns. Trevor, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate that today. Yeah, yeah, excited to be here to talk to you guys. I work here at Fort McCoy, the property manager. Um, and you're helping people's dreams come true. And this is a different way to help those dreams come true. Um, deeded lots in a park. So maybe we can, we can see behind us. It's a pretty big situation. This is our park. Uh, let's go out and I'll, I'll show you a couple of them. Now, Trevor, thanks for taking us to this cool lot. Yeah. So I'm not overly schooled on real estate. So help me understand and the viewer understand what does deeded actually mean? Which means we are allowed to turn the deed over to you to the actual plot. Our plots run around 2,600 to 3,000 square feet and you are the actual owner in the eyes of the state of that plot of dirt. So you are in our park, but it is your dirt. So your dirt. your dirt to do what you want with okay. and camp whenever for however long uh, for as little as you want um, but it is your land and uh, your permanent for the rest of your life RV spot. So it can be transferred as part of the state. Yes. And it appreciates course. like land often does. Um, there's probably some community guidelines so you can't do craziness on it. Yeah we but... do have an HOA here okay. and uh, we try to be pretty relaxed let you do what you want but we do have certain rules to make sure we you know uphold certain standards in the campground and make sure everyone is you know staying compliant and making the place overall look better. Um, so why are people interested in this situation versus going and buying five acres in the middle of nowhere, I don't know, Kentucky, and really having it all to themselves? What, what are they seeing? Why, why do this yep. versus that? A yep. big reason is we've done all the heavy lifting, all the hard work for you. Utilities to start, water, electric, sewer, raw land. Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi, <laughs> yes, of course, huge <laughs> one, especially out here. Um, Buying raw land, you don't have any of that. You gotta go, you know, pay to install it, you know, the time, the work. There's a lot of, you know, lots Obviously that goes zoning, into that. Yeah, permitting, of course. Yep. And We've, finding people to do the work right now is yes, really scary. Yeah, everyone's stuff. backed up, material shortages, you know, the list goes on. So a big thing is it's all developed here. We have everything for you. Every single lot here has its own electric, has its own sewer, has its own, you know, power 50 amp. So um, and even something as simple as garbage service. Yep, yep. Our garbage pickup, we have trash come every Thursday, dumpsters all throughout the park. So um, make it pretty easy for you. Not too far of a walk to take your trash out. Um, also security, we have night guards throughout the, um, you know, through, through the night. They drive through the park, check up on things. You know, if there's anything, there never is. But, you know, it's always nice to have the security there just knowing that we have someone. Yeah. Um, uh, amenities, pool, 6,000 square foot clubhouse, um, again, the Wi-Fi and then the views, so there's more, but those are the big ones that people definitely come here for is, you know, it's a, you know, turnkey operation. You buy the dirt and you're ready to go. But there's a lot up here with some rebar on it. Maybe we can go up there and you yeah, can tell us a little bit about that. that's a lot we that. just sold, so we're okay. doing some upgrades on it now, and that gives you guys an idea of kind of, you know, once you buy your dirt, the capabilities of what you can do. I don't know about you, but there's something about rebar that just kind of reeks of progress, right? Pretty cool. Trevor, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so what you guys can see here is a lot that was recently purchased. We do custom concrete work. Um, pretty much whatever you want, what you can think of, we'll do. You can see the, the driveway here where the RV will be parked with the rebar and then kind of an outdoor area across the back with the lake overlook. Um, you see the 50 amp pedestal. We've got the plumbing, sewer, and electric kind of moving around. So again, options are pretty limitless. So maybe a typical customer, we talk about some of the amenities and like here's a big rig right behind me. Um, but a lot of folks aren't gonna be in their spot all the time. Yep. So tell us about short-term rentals, kind of an Airbnb model. Um, 
help us with that. So yep. a lot of lot owners here aren't gonna be here full time. They're not gonna be here 12 months out of the year. Some are just snowbirds, some just come for the weekends. So what we try to do is make sure we help you maximize your investment here at our property. So we offer a, a rental program for any lot owners. So if you wanna buy a deeded lot and you're only gonna be here three months out of the year, we then will let you put your lot into our rental pool where we will let you rent it out weekends, monthlies, kind of pretty much whatever you want. Uh, three night minimums is what we require, but uh, it lets you make money on your investment while you're not here. And whenever you wanna let us know that you're coming out, we'll make sure your lot's open and uh, available for you whenever you want. You know, and that's just super attractive to somebody like me that might have one or two or three of these across the US and it can be making money while I'm not in it. Yep. And I block out a few dates and I come, I'm at home base and that is really attractive. That's kind of special, I think. Yeah. And again, with the amenities here, they're doing the work, unlike raw land where you're having to manage all that yourself and clean it and all that stuff this is already kind of taken care of for yep. you. we so. mow the lawn clean the trash clean up after from guest to guest we do it we do it all for you you don't even have to worry or think about it isn't so. that amazing yeah hey if you're enjoying this give a thumb up uh, i know trevor would certainly like that talk to us about this how do you say this even yeah so a lot of people see uh Lake Akla, they don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Lake Aklawaha. It's the lake right behind us, you guys can see. Yeah. Um, and uh, we are right on the lake. We have lots that overlook it. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty special place for sure. And some of those other amenities that aren't really man-made, there's the, the lake you mentioned. There's, you guys have uh, trails access to the beach on the lake itself, yep. right? And it's part of the National Forest. Yep. Uh, so tell us about that and how that is an amenity a lot of folks are interested yeah. in. So a lot of customers that we do have out here are here on the weekends. We do have direct access to the National Trailhead, which is not heard of around here. We're allowed to offer guided tours. So if you don't have your own ATV or side-by-side, -side, we have tours to take you out. If you do have yours, a lot of people just camp them right by their campsite and drive them straight out to the trails. So it's... It's what we're known for, I would say. It's, it's pretty popular. So kind of a destination for that. Yep, Super for sure. cool. Um, tell us what kind of RVs typically you're seeing customers bring in. Mm -hmm. And maybe there's an alternative like a park home that a lot of folks are familiar with. I think you guys have a different name for it. But what kind of RVs are you seeing uh, typically? Yeah, so we allow most different types of RVs here. Obviously, we hold, you know, a cleanliness standard to it and, you know, can't be what's the over maybe 15, 20 years old. Um, but uh, anything from fifth wheels, travel trailer, uh, class A's, class C's. Um, if somebody wants a, a park model, what do you guys call those? Yeah, cottage. We call them cottage homes. Cottage we homes. have cottage homes that look similar to a tiny home if you've seen one or a park model but uh, they are actually approved by the state as a home. So we've gone through and uh, got approvals to build homes in the, in the state of the eyes. You can get a 30 year mortgage against them and you can place them on our deeded lots here. That's so, so cool. Let's go check out one of those. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for inviting us into your uh, cottage. This is kind of cool. Tell us a little bit about what this is and it's got a really great feel. Good yeah. job. Yeah, so this is our cottage model. Again, uh, built to Florida building code, approved by the DBPR. It looks like your tiny home, looks like a park model, but it's not. It falls in a category of its own. So since you can buy the deed of dirt and you own the home, these are actually eligible for 30-year financing through the bank. They're approved, like I said, by the state as a home. So this is no different than, you know, your house back that you're living at on the normal day today. But uh, now you can have a second home, an investment property, you know, at our resort here. So um, this is kind of, you know, a model that we have here as well. And uh, you're standing in the living room right now of our our uh, Juno series, our 1-1, our one, one. so. 1-1 one, one meaning one bedroom. Yep, one bedroom, one bathroom right now. We are working on expanding that, but uh, right now this is uh, kind of what we've got so far. One of the reasons I find this kind of attractive, imagine if you have a couple of these scattered across the country. You're in a van or a small RV and you want to roll into home base. You can kind of park next to your cottage, yep. come in and have all the amenities and features of a stick and brick house without all the hassle. And you're used to a small space anyway, so this you feel at home. And with the size of these ceilings, it's really spacious. Uh, so people are kind of curious, as always. Tell us about the price and availability of the lots and then on the cottage homes themselves. Yep. So starting with our RV lots, they range anywhere from around 53000 on the low end and extend up to around 120000 And that all ranges from, you know, the size to the view as well as the proximity to the lake. So that's kind of where the variance comes into play. As far as a cottage home, those start at around 169 and again, that includes the lot as well as the house combination. So, and there's a lot of work that goes into that, but uh, that's kind of our ballpark starting range as far as a combination of a land home. Well, let me see if I got that right. So if you want a home like this, the home plus a lot, about 160 grand? Yep. 
that's pretty reasonable. So again, rather than running out buying five acres that you gotta do all the stuff yourself in the middle of nowhere, and that's not the way I like to roll. Here you have a few neighbors, all the amenities, 160 grand all in to get into something like this, that's really affordable. Curious what you think, more importantly. If you're getting some out of this, give it a thumb up. Comment below something you've considered, buying some land as part of your RVing experience. And subscribe to the channel if you're into this kind of stuff. This is what we bring in. So this is our master bedroom. This, believe it or not, is the bed. So we do have Murphy beds installed on all the homes here. So all you do is just pull it down, flip the support bar down, and there's your bed. And RVers are used to this. Yep, yep. That so it so comes great. with all cabinets as well, lights across the top. USB and uh, outlet plugins for you guys. So. so cool. A closet here, obviously. Let's check out the um, kitchen. So space for washer and dryer, yeah. bathroom, storage. Man, Always love a carpet. window in the bathroom. Pretty uh, sizable right? bathroom too. And just down the hallway is the kitchen. Doesn't have the appliances. No, no appliances yet, but as you guys can, you know, picture, we have uh, the stove, slot for the microwave, as well as uh, the fridge. So it comes... Probably some options on appliances. Yeah, a couple different options, as well as, you know, countertop options and, and cabinet color, but this kind of just gives you the basic idea of how they come. That's so great. And then this becomes your great room. Yep. Trevor, just thanks again for your time today. I know you're super busy and it's getting a little sweaty out here with the rain and everything. A uh, couple last points. Where can people, well, let's talk about the location. So uh, this is Fort McCoy, Florida. How far away from, I don't know, we're kind of the middle of the state. So maybe Gainesville, how far is that? Yep. So we got Gainesville. It's about mm, an hour, 15 hour if you're driving fast. Uh, we have Ocala. That's probably the closest larger city around us, about 30, 45 minutes or 30, 40 minutes. Okay. Uh, Palatka, a little bit smaller, but again, get your groceries, get get what you need. If you leave anything at home, about 30 minutes the other way. So okay. not too far from everything. Very cool. Yep. And where can people um, get in contact with you if they're curious about this as a KOA or if they wanted to invest in an RV resort uh, deeded property? Yeah, so you can find us on Google. Obviously we are the Fort McCoy KOA. We also have Atlas Cottage Homes. That is where you would go to find more information on our house here. But um, I am Trevor and my coworker, John, we both handle all the sales with, with regards the sales to these things. And, so. and things like yep. that. And you can do Zoom, you can do come visit. So yep. is there, if, if somebody's interested, can they stay for a night or two in the RV just kind of yeah, get a feel? Yeah, so we have quite a few people that come out here for tours. So uh, we offer two night free stay. If you're coming out here to look at lot sales or a cottage sale, so we definitely want to encourage you guys. We're always available, so give us a call. Uh, we'll, we'll make time and we'll make sure we can show you around the property and hopefully find something that uh, works for you. That is so great. Well, just thanks again for, um, this is a great team here, and thanks again for your time and John's and the, and the gals at the office. And uh, this is what we like to do. We learn together, we share. You decide what's the best way for you to roll. So we see you soon. I wish you to. Journey on. See ya. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Nice job. Thanks.